who's in the studio? Ah, I don't want to be here! <laughs> Hi, I am Giselle Gaulle, and you're watching In Art Media. Hi, my name is Mabel Valdivieso. I'm your host, Susan Ortiz, and you're watching In Art Media. Well, it used to be complex for me to, to even figure out what was the meaning of life, and now I'm starting to see through the haze, I'm becoming more aware of life as it is at this moment and this very second and not to maybe worry so much about the past or the future because that will come to me and the intention that I may be manifesting. I think it's a journey, it's a discovery, it's a process, something that is, 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 is manifesting out there, you know, and that maybe triggers me or really compels me to do something. Now, did you go to school for filmmaking? I did go to uh, a university, uh, but it was mass media communications, and I had to uh, trick my dad into saying that I was uh, going to study uh, journalism. <laughs> uh, can you name some of your past projects? One of them was uh, Waters Music. It was an experimental short video art kind of piece back in Peru and uh, with performance. And then lately I did this piece uh, which is uh, the short version of uh, Soledad is Gone Forever. It's uh, the story about this young woman, Soledad Gonzalez, who learns that her father's remains have, have been found in Chile. She begins to have dreams and visions where she sees something that really is hunting and scary and frightening. What happens when you witness something so traumatic as your father dying uh, block that memory in your life and only after like 20 years you are forced to go into this and rediscover that truth, but maybe that's the way to set you free. So the question is now, this real father, the biological father, is he going to save her? And what, what is she going to do about it? Will she accept that this is her father? Will she ever uh, forgive him? And will she ever heal? Uh, currently also working in another project with my partner, and uh, the name of it is um, Parallel Eyes, and it's a romantic comedy. Uh, if I have enough time, and uh, maybe when I retire, <laughs> uh, I will be making sculptures. <laughs> but then I, I realized, oh, wait a second, if you're making sculptures, it's sort of like you're playing God again, you know, like uh, you, you're like, you know, uh, casting something because you want to form it in a certain way. I remember I was uh, casting for the short, and uh, so I was doing some traveling. I couldn't find all my actors in San Francisco, so I came to LA to do some auditions. And uh, when I came back, uh, my cat was really, he seemed very upset. And I thought, oh, he must be upset because I, I mean, away. And then I just waited one day, and that day I waited, uh, at, at, you know, took him to the vet, and it was too late. And, and that, that was, the, yeah, that was, that was, that was sad. How did you become involved with Nalib? Oh yeah, yeah, Nalib is, is being a wonderful, wonderful, uh, not only resource, I mean, I used to see it like as a distant uh, organization because I was in San Francisco, I didn't know much about it, and this thriving Latino community with all these levels of filmmakers starting out, like, you know, I found myself identified with that, and then all these others who are more mid-career or are much more advanced, and everybody was open. And today, where I am and where they are, we go, we go on to this journey. Every time I go to, to, to their events and conferences, it's always uh, a turning point in, in my life. Thank you for watching In Art Media.